Rob here, Detroit.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Apex XT4 hanging style bike rack on our 2017 GMC Terrain. Now our Thule Apex is going to allow us to carry up to four bikes to and from the trail, and it's going to prevent us from having to try to cram our bikes into the back seat or in the back hatch area, and it's also going to prevent us from having to reach all the way on top and load and unload our bikes on a roof rack. A hitch mounted bike rack is just going to make it a little bit easier to load up and get there with your friends or family. Now like most hanging style bike racks, we're going to have three points of contact. We're going to have two straps on the cross tube here, and then we're also going to have another strap on the vertical support, and that's going to act as an anti-sway to prevent our bike from moving too much and either hitting the back of the mast or other bikes. But we'll go ahead and pull it off so we can take a closer look. We're just going to push in on the tab, and we can start feeding the strap through. We're going to get a hold of our bike, pull it off, and set it aside. Now with our bike out of the way, we can take a closer look at the cradle here. Now it's going to have a nice soft rubber-like material inside, and that not only is going to help hold our bike securely, but it's also going to make sure the finish on the bike stays nice. Now the inside of the strap is also going to have a nice soft rubber material to grip well. And I always just like putting the straps back just so I don't have to hear it when I'm going down the road. Another nice thing that I really like about the cradles is the fact that once we have our bike getting ready to put on, they are gonna pivot so we can get that perfect angle no matter what way the frame is sitting or if it has an alternative frame. It'll just be a little bit easier to load it up and get that angle right. Another thing that I really like is the spacing on our cradles here. Our cradles are gonna be spaced seven inches apart which is gonna be a little bit more than most standard bikes. And it's gonna make it an optimal spacing so we can get our bikes in place and not have to worry about the handlebars hitting each other or the pedals coming in contact. Now being able to carry four bikes with you to and from the trail is gonna be really nice. But as you can see, we're adding quite a bit of space to the back of our terrain. So if I measure from the very back of the bumper, we're gonna be adding roughly right about 42 inches to the total length. Now we can save some space, we need to get in our garage, we don't want to remove the bike rack. If we come to the lever up top here, we'll lift it up, and we'll have the option of folding the arms down, which we can already see made quite a bit of difference. If I measure the same point, we're only gonna be adding about 12 inches, so we're saving quite a bit of space there. Now I know there's times though when we do get to the trail and we left something in the back. I don't know about you, but I'm not going in the front seat and crawling all the way to the back or taking my bike rack out just to get something. Well, we're going to have another lever on the bottom. It's going to work the same way. We'll just lift it up. We'll be able to tilt our bike rack away. Then we'll have ample space here to get inside of our hatch, grab whatever gear we need to get in or out. When we're done, just close up the hatch. And grab the lever again. And we'll hear that audible click whenever it locks back into place. Now as far as the ground clearance goes, you can see our bike rack's gonna come straight out of our hitch, so we're not gonna lose any ground clearance there. But at the lowest point at the back of our rack here, it's gonna be right about 14 inches. So we do have a good amount of space, but if you have a really, really steep driveway, you kinda wanna keep that in mind. Now our bike rack is gonna work with the two inch by two inch hitches, as well as the inch and a quarter hitches. And you can see we have this really large knob here on the end, and this is going to be our anti-rattle knob. As soon as we tighten it up and get it in the receiver, it's going to take all that slop and slack out of there. And if I start shaking it, you can see I'm actually shaking the entire car because there's no movement inside. So we'll have a nice, quiet, secure ride. And what I really like about this bike rack also is the fact that once we go to put it in our receiver tube, we're not going to have to mess around with putting a bolt in, having a wrench or anything else because Thule's included this snug tight stinger, so it'll automatically go into where it needs to in the hitch pin hole, and then again, just tighten up the anti-rattle, and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at it on our test course. Up first is gonna be our slalom, which is gonna simulate side-to-side -side action, like evasive maneuvering or taking a sharp turn. Now we're on to the solid speed bumps, which is gonna simulate the up and down action, like going over a speed bump or pulling into your driveway. And now our alternating speed bunch, which is going to simulate driving over uneven pavement like potholes. 
But again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com, and that'll finish up your look at the Truly Apex XT 4-Bike Hanging Style Rack on our 2017 GMC Terrain.